Look at that. Odd dog. That don't happen very often. Turn the camera on and fish bites it. Especially since it hadn't happened all day. It hadn't happened all weekend. That's the first decent bass I've caught all weekend. He ain't even a big one. He's just a good one. Proving poppers produce. Buddy, I'm glad you came today. I was getting very discouraged. <laughs> you can probably imagine why. What are the chances of that happening two times in a row? Now the dogs have come back and making a bunch of racket. Is he hates that little dog? <laughs> oh, he's like that little brother. <laughs> it's funny because Sally Sue was playing with him. Ah, oh, no, get down. Oh, dang, I call your name when you go crazy. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, there you go. Not as big as I thought it was. I love the way they jump on a popper. Look at that nice fish. I think I've caught that fish before. <laughs> I know I have. <laughs> oh, Lord. There you go. Nice fish. Hung with it. Caught him. That popper is weedless, but not fishless. I saw him playing. Boy, the yard looks good when it's all mowed. It's about two acres total around the house and the side lot. It's the first time this spring, but boy, it looks good. It's sloppy wet, too. <laughs> you know what, folks? I have spent too much time trying to catch the big bass in here and totally ignoring the fact that we got some really big bluegill. Damn. So I just tied up this little foam head popper it's actually white foam that I took a Sharpie marker and colored it yellow. And what you might not know about uh, Sharpie markers and super glue is when you hit yellow, you hit yellow Sharpie with the super glue, it turns red. Because I did that first, I was going to stick an eye on there and I was going to put a red eye on it. And I hit it with the super glue and it turned red and I said, well, dad gum, that's about as simple as it gets. That's just three layers of foam, a sandwich. It makes a little sandwich, just a plain old yellow popper with some spinnerbait skirt legs. Perfectly perfect. Let me re-rig my fly rod. Actually, I might even pull out my four weight instead. So let me fire it up and throw the four weight. It's got a lano bug in it with two legs. <laughs> Got about a five foot leader, 10 pound to six. A couple of fish out there, I think. Boy, this thing, this thing's got like five weight line on it, but it don't feel like it. I've been using that five weight rod with eight weight line, and it'll load up quick. Oh, there it is. Getting some attention. That more action than I've got on them. anything in a long while. Three weeks probably. These fish really did. All this new water I think has kind of got them a little mixed up. Ah, there he is. Oh, yeah, this is a whopper. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I was expecting, but... Uh, I don't know how many of these little bass we have in here anymore. We got big bass that'll eat the little bass. But it's a start. I've seen a lot of movement in that water. That thing hit the, hit the water and something came out to meet it. Oh yeah. This might have been the key. Big little fish, don't matter. Probably need to make a dragonfly. Something very similar to this, but just a dragonfly frame. Ooh. Come on. At least they're showing interest. My goodness. I haven't even been getting much interest at all. 
Oh, dang it. That was a fish. And I pulled it away from him. I thought it was a turtle for a second. All right, mind your manners. Watch your technique. You got to be able to strip set because if you don't, then you end up pulling the fly away from them and you miss an opportunity for a second attack. That was a bass, I think. This is on about a eight or a six size hook. I think it's closer to an eight. Just a plain old Aberdeen cheap Eagle Claw hook. You get about 250 of them for five dollars. They are cheap. But they work just fine. Right, we're gonna start working our way down this bank. You notice I don't have no dogs today. Maybe I'll catch something. Popper. Dude, thanks for coming. See if I can catch one of your brothers or sisters or mothers or grandmother or whatever. A bigger version of that same fish. <laughs> fish. That fish struck at something behind me. And I threw my popper over there and he laid right into it. <laughs> really nice little fish. I just had a tiny fish on, and then a big fish came and got it. It fell off before he did it. Whoa, that was a nice little bass. Let's see what else is up in there. A bunch of fish right there. And there's another one. Yeah. I saw a lot of activity in there. Get out of those weeds. Come on, come on, don't do this. Come on, come on, there you go. Like that last one. Little old fishy fishy. Good candidates to put in a different pond. Once again, he got it way down there. I sure don't. Truck's just over there a little ways, but I think I can get this out without much trouble. Yep, there you go. Popped right out. Nice little bass. You haven't been there. Or four, or five, 